The most common query that I'm receiving at this point of time is, sir, I'm not able to push my mock test score. What am I supposed to do? This is highly depressing. Please tell me what am I supposed to do? Now there are three categories of students which I believe are facing this particular issue at this point of time. The first category is those students who are scoring less than 200 marks. We will be addressing those students also. What they are supposed to do? What is the problem they are facing? Second category of students is who are scoring 350 marks, okay? And they are not able to make it 450, 550, 650. And then we have the third category of students who are scoring, I would say 550 marks. Now what they are supposed to do so that they can push their score so that they can land, we say, onto, I would say 650 plus. Because when you are scoring 550 marks, it is very difficult for you to achieve 600 or 650, okay? Now, my dear friends, make sure you watch this video till the end and you share it with your friends also. First category that we will be discussing is who are scoring less than 200 marks. And I believe that maximum number of students fall into this category who are appearing for NEET 2026 examination. Then you have the next category that is who are scoring 350 marks. Okay. And then we have those students who are scoring 550 marks at this point of time. First, let's talk about those students who are scoring, I would say, 200, less than 200 marks. The reason is, the most common reason is, everybody knows that, sir, they have weak basics, okay? And they are making silly mistakes. They have not completed their syllabus. Let me just tell you that. Syllabus is incomplete. Ba basics are weak. They are making silly mistakes in every single question. They don't know how to read the question when it comes to the physics. They don't know how to read the question, how to basically analyze the question, okay? How to figure out the answer of the question. They don't know anything about that. And then my dear friends, calculation mistakes. They are not able to solve the question properly. They are not able, even if they are able to apply the concepts. Some students say this also, sir, I'm able to apply the concepts, but I'm not able to find the answer, okay? Because of the uh, calculation issues. And then revisions are pending. No proper revision is done. Now, my dear friends, let me just tell you at this point of time, you must target, I would say, 80% of your syllabus. If anybody is saying who is lagging, I would say, who is having less than 200 marks saying, sir, I will try to finish 100% of my syllabus. I would say go for 70 to 80% of your syllabus as of now. Try to complete this much and master it. Once you master 70 to 80% syllabus, master means if I put the questions, if I make a question paper out of this 80%, you should be able to solve each and every single question. Okay, that is what we call the mastery. Once you get done with that, then you can complete rest of the 20%. If you have the time, if you do not have the time, then go with this much only. I am telling you this. Then my dear friends, Focus on high weightage chapters. So while you are completing 80% of your syllabus, you are supposed to go with the high weightage chapters first. Like you have electrostatics so that you can land into the safe zone so that you get the maximum marks. Like you have electrostatics, you have current electricity, you have modern physics in like in, in the uh, subject physics. And in this particular case, my dear friends, you have to watch the lectures because I believe your basics are not clear. Calculation mistakes, silly mistakes. Okay, you have not done anything. So means lectures are mandatory. And my dear Neet aspirants, I would say you are supposed to solve the teacher's problems, which the teachers teach you inside the class. That is very much important because teacher knows what are the pattern of questions which come in the NEET exam. So that's why these are very important. And then previous year questions of NEET, my dear NEET aspirants. Okay. And once you are done with this also, make sure you are supposed to give the mock test and afterwards the analysis. Analysis is very much important. People give mock tests, but they lag in the analysis. They don't know. Like, let's suppose I give you a question paper. You solved the question and you couldn't solve the question from particular section. You should be able to analyze afterwards. Why couldn't I solve? So you have to solve multiple questions on that particular topic. Make sure that is done. And when it comes to the target, my dear neat aspirants, how much target you are supposed to keep? Firstly, you should keep the target of 400. From 200 or from 100, you should make the target of 400. Achieving the score of 400 
from 200 is very much easy okay as you move forward like from 550 to 600 that will be difficult okay now my dear friends you have to keep the target of 400 plus you should be able to achieve 400 plus by february by this feb month and then then by end of the march you should be able to achieve how much i would say i would say 500 plus if before that then that is much better and then my dear friends by the month of april you should be able to achieve like 15th of april you should be able to achieve or 30th april i would say 600 plus this has to be your goal this has to be your goal keep that thing in your mind my dear neat aspirants this is the flow that you guys are supposed to do okay so first target 80 percent only master it 70 to 80 percent i would say master it then you can go for the 20 rest of the 20 percent master it means you have done enough number of revisions you are able to solve every single question from these chapters you are able to gain maximum marks from these chapters so that's why i'm saying target 400 plus initially then 500 plus then 600 plus this has to be step by step don't think you will go directly to the 600 that is not possible then let's talk about the next category of students who are scoring 350 at this point of time now my dear friends i believe that not 70 to 80 percent i believe that i can say i can write over here i can write over here we say 60 to 70 percent or we say 50 to 60 percent of your syllabus is done what is the first thing you guys are supposed to do listen to me very carefully and one more important thing revisions are pending that is the issue that's why you are stuck at 350 marks you are you have not done the enough revisions proper revisions okay no mock tests you are not giving the enough mock tests or we say less number of mock tests okay and then you have the also time management issues these guys have also time management issues what is the first thing you guys are supposed to do that is the proper revisions okay so first is syllabus completion if you are stuck at 70 percent 60 percent do the syllabus completion as soon as possible like in next one month like in up to i would say 20th jan okay or i would say cello 30th jan you guys are supposed to cover your syllabus okay and then my dear friends you have to do the proper revisions and 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 you are not doing the analysis even if you are giving the mock test that is also the reasons okay what is the reason your syllabus is incomplete okay next reason is i would say revision pending next reason is less mock tests time management and then you have we say not doing the analysis so you guys are supposed to do the proper revisions keep that thing in your mind and and I would say practice variety of questions okay if you are stuck at 350 or i would say 400 means you are a capable student you have a very high chance of entering the medical college scoring 650 plus so the reason is you have not done the practice of uh, variety uh, you have not done the enough practice you have not done the practice of for the variety of problems okay and my dear neat aspirants what are the types of problems you guys are supposed to do teachers questions which teachers show you in the notebooks in the class okay ncert in text questions and exercise ncert exercise questions examples and previous year questions and my dear neat aspirants you should make the target of at least 10 revisions we say in three months you would be able to do 10 revisions that is i am telling you it is possible okay and then my dear friends we say every sunday you have to give the mock test every sunday keep that thing in your mind and then you must have the target of 500 by 15th of feb by 15th of feb you should be able to achieve 500 marks and then the next target must be 600 by 15th of march and then the next target must be 6 600 650 plus and 660 plus this has to be your flow okay keep that thing in your mind now my dear neat aspirants we are talking about the third category of students that is who are scoring 550 marks these are those students their theory is done syllabus is done okay we say basics are clear but they are doing the silly mistakes these are the students who do silly mistakes at the end moment they do silly mistakes okay and then my dear friends we say time management issues they are not able to manage the time even sometimes they get a uh, lot of they they, they they become nervous when they see a question which is a bit difficult so so that that uh, become the that becomes the reason for the time management and then my dear friends my dear friends i would say 
you guys should give at least 100 mock tests in your upcoming time because we still have four and a half months or four months left okay and what you guys are supposed to do we say ncrt questions previous year questions of j means because i believe if you are scoring 550 marks you have already done the previous year questions of neat if not all i would say 70 to 80 percent you are done so make sure you do the previous year questions of j mains also if there are questions which are which are very lengthy in j mains category you are supposed to leave those Take those problems only which are not enough lengthy, but they have the chances to come in the NEET examination also, like you saw in NEET 2025. Okay, so make sure you do this because if you are scoring 550 marks from 550 to 650, it is very difficult. It is not like moving from 200 to 400 or 200 to 450. That is easy. That is achievable very easily. But moving from 550 to 600, it is very much difficult. Let me tell you that, my dear neat aspirants. Okay. Keep that thing in your mind. Okay. So you have to go with this. You have to go with this. And then, then make sure you have done the formula sheets. You are supposed to make the formula sheets, short notes. And those diagrams, you need to practice the diagrams of biology and all. Okay. And then detailed analysis of every test. This is very important. People mostly lag over here. They do not do the analysis of a test properly. That is why they are not able to score uh, good in their, in their mock tests, in their examination. And make sure you keep the target of 650 by 30th of February. Okay. This has to be your target by 30th February. You should be able to achieve. And then 680 by 30th of March. This has to be your target. Don't say if you are a student, neat aspirant, you're scoring 200 right now. Don't say my target is 660 right now itself. So by next month, you, your target should be 400. By next month, your target should be 450. By next month, your target should be 600. So this, this, this should be like that. Okay. Now, my dear neat aspirants, if you say, sir, most of the students belong to this particular category. Sir, we need your help at this point of time because you said lectures are mandatory, teachers problems are mandatory and previous year questions also. So my dear neat aspirants, if you belong to this category only, I'm telling you this, then, then, then I am telling you, we have recently launched this particular batch and we will be training you accordingly from the scratch, from the basics. Okay. Okay, so what are the teachers types of problems you guys require so that it helps you to score, uh, to maximize your score. That is very much important. And in this one, we will be very crisp when it comes to the physics. I will be to the point. Okay, because I know we have got only four months. So I'll have to train you accordingly so that you can maximize your, your score. I will not go in much detail. I'll be giving you the problem patterns which you actually need at this point of time in order to maximize your score. And when it comes to this category and this category who are scoring, I would say 300 to 400. I have told you what you guys are supposed to do. Okay, what you are supposed to do. Make sure you like this particular video and you share it with your friends. Okay, thank you so much. Take care and bye-bye.